So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the new project that I'm working on. Uh, I call it a multi-sensory experience chamber. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's not an official title, but it helps a little bit to understand what you know what what is happening. So you know, it is a visual and auditory experience. So if you uh, look at these, these are rear projection screens that. Um, that are going to be projected upon. So as you enter inside, you're going to be encountering the projections. There's a projection program that is a cycle. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a buildup of colors. It's, it's very much an abstract in nature. There's not, you know, there's not a video projection of anything uh, particular other than abstract uh, colors and uh, heavily edited, but based on flowing paint and uh, interaction of colors. Um, okay, so then in the floor, as you can see, there's uh, four subwoofers built into the floor. So there's a floor above this, uh, and which is free floating, which means that once you enter it, it uh, when the sound starts to build up, it starts to vibrate. A lot of the sound is uh, very low frequency at or even below the range of human hearing, but uh, it creates a vibration, an omnidirectional vibration that you do feel with your body, through, through your body, inside. Um, so there's, there's, there's sound, but it's also sound that is a physical force that is uh, interesting to me. And then above this, there's going to be a scrim top, and there's a platform that hangs that um, what is going to be built into the platform are these colored halogen lights. Uh, at this instance, they're blue, green, and white, but they can also change. Just like everything, this is uh, customizable. Each uh, program, you know, this is a vehicle for a, a variety of programs that I can uh, load into it. So it's not one single necessarily uh, experience, but experience can vary depending on, you know, how I program it. So at this point, you know, it's kind of uh, cool colors. The theme is going to be kind of a cool color buildup and uh, a peak, climactic peak, crash. At this point, I think it's going to be short, about three minutes, but that one can also change. So, um, and then lights are controlled. Everything synced together. Uh, you know, I'm working with these light control units, uh, programmable light control units. Uh, there's going to be a uh, 18 lights at this point, and uh, so the lights work is they work by beaming down onto the walls of this. Well, the walls, the inside walls, where there's not a screen are going to be covered, um, skinned over with this latex skin that I cast. Uh, you know, it's it's latex paint that um, you know that you can actually you'll be able to touch it. You'll be able to kind of as you're walking through it, it's it's almost going to touch you. So that adds a little bit of that uh, physical sensory, uh, uh, physical touching, tactile situation. Um, and also the colors, the colors of the lights are going to somewhat affect the colors of the paint. So, you know, it, from a painting standpoint of view, it's a uh, um, projections are color divorced from paint. And this physical paint is a paint divorced from color that has changed by the by the lights that are uh, are shining on it so you know in in a way and me uh, having done an abstract painting uh, this is kind of what I say to people in, in a you know in a, it's like being inside of an abstract painting <laughs> you know, putting you inside of that experience is a similar experience but on a much you know more uh, sensory levels and much more uh, enveloping so uh, now I'm going after the experience of the abstract, the naive experience that you know that we don't uh, ever have in in the world. But it, it reminds it it, it uh, you know it recalls uh, parts of the world, the parts of things that we experience. But it I feel like it's 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 something that is new in itself. So um, yeah. So basically. Uh, that's kind, of, that's kind of the spiel for it. Um, you know, uh, you walk in, you walk through it. You know, it 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 uh, 
you could hold about four people. Um, so, you know, it's something that you pass through, that you linger on. You know, you don't necessarily linger for the entire time you can. Um, but, uh, you know, to fully experience it, you probably do have to spend, you know, the, the entirety of the program inside of it. Um, yeah, that's uh, modular. It comes apart. Fully transportable. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, and then there's, there's a rendering for it. And the equipment, 1500 watts of sound power. Michael, explain this to you. Uh, well, this is uh, a performance object. Um, so, this is a, a, a two-part situation, okay? This is a, a physical object, but yet, you know, it is an object that I built and then destroyed as a performance that exists also as this two-channel video, which this is a still from. There's two channels on the left channel. It's me building, uh, six hours of building compressed into 15 minutes and then five minutes of destruction also stretched out into 15 minutes. So this 15 minute video that is a, a slow motion and a really speeded up motion on, on both uh, either channel. So, um, so it was basically I built a tower as high as I could into the space that I had about 12 feet and, and during the live performance I climbed on top of it and destroyed it. Um, yes, yeah, so, and, so and this also is kind of a prototype for uh, you know, originally was trying to put you into a, a round, into the round, kind of put you inside of this painting. So, uh, you know, this is a physical kind of manifestation of a three-dimensional manifestation of a kind of a two-dimensional object that you know kind of started this whole uh, you know trying to envelop you in this experience, make that you know, and this was not fully in the round, and this is really going to be fully in the round, all floor, ceiling, walls, everything being a, being a surrounded experience. Yeah, so that's... <laughs> Good.